Oh yeah, Al's the next character, right. We're going right for the, uh, well, I guess you could say main character. That wouldn't be really too far from the truth. Al here, okay, another one that's described as a 14 year old looking girl, but has a very uh, arrogant personality. Okay, let me read this verbatim. Okay, so the description. The physical manifestation of spirit that lives within the world's strongest magical tome, Necronomicon. Although you, you would think that the Book of Solomon will be stronger. I don't know, anyway. Although she's roughly 1,000 years old, she has a petite and unassuming appearance, literally living the meme. Despite that appearance, she has a very arrogant personality. I will say her personality is very fun. Um, there's some cool costumes in here, I guess. This one's neat. This one also looks kind of neat. I feel like there's a lot of reference here, references here in terms of colors, but we're going to stick to this one, which does remind me a lot of Lily's old Tekken 5 design. Not Tekken 5, like um, her old default look from um, Tekken in general. Petite and unassuming, you mean vulnerable and un unknowing? Yeah, it's a better way to put it, Alex. Literally, th those are the words from the fucking thing. So, uh, also from DM Bane Mugen here, who will be important, and another blood, who is also from there and will be important later on. Uh, yeah, I never. Okay, this is why I do like to bring these two. Right, so if you didn't catch the last video for some weird reason, uh, we will be I'll be trying to spend like three to five minutes with each of these characters at the start to show you what they can do. And it's funny, her, um, Al is a really easy character to pick up and learn. What I mean by, by that is like Corsica Fords uh, give you uh, projectiles, pretty fun stuff. DPs give you like a really big dragon punch. It also can be very easy to come on into. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, like that. Uh, also very combo friendly. Oops. Yeah, not quite what I wanted. That DP easily combos into this assist, by the way. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, so not too bad. You do this also. Not bad. Yeah, again, Al is a really strong character. Um, she's a, uh, let me actually read my notes here. Extremely easy to pick up and use. Massive Dragon Punch. Like, this thing is gargantuan. I think Light might give you slightly more active frames. Of course, her 6L would just be a straight fucking panty shot because as if we're... N as if there's not enough sexualization of minor appearing characters in this series. Uh, nah, we, d we just got... <laughs> we got more now, I guess. Strong projectiles, this is good. Um, I don't think she has anything else immediately, unless I'm wrong in that assessment. Let me check really fast. Um, oh, wait, hold up. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Come on, how do you do it? Oh, there it is, I guess. Yeah, okay, this is that a trap? Yep, child coded, that is definitely it. I guess she has a trap too, that's kind of cool. I don't remember I would actually doing that. Mirror now, Chris. Oh yeah, also she's got this move that's basically uh what what was her name? Uh Makoto from Blaze Blue basically does. I'm not sure if she still does it because I haven't played Blaze Blue in literally god knows how long. But it is a thing she can do. Uh down down medium has her coming out straight. That's cool. Down down uh no, sorry, down on light has her coming out straight. Down on medium has her coming out with the second one. Down on heavy comes has her coming out from the top. Oh, you also saw your falling front with uh, jump D, I guess. That's kind of cool. Blaze Blue still has it. Moves that's really changed. Oh, yeah, no. Blaze Blue is very much like the Naruto Clash Ninja Revolution <laughs> of the fighting game community because they'll drop a character in and never update them once. I do believe there is still no changes in the uh, Lychee. Um. Uh, what was the bug dude's name? Uh, Arakune story, I want to say. Yeah, I feel like there's been no severe developments in that at all. So, fun. All right, so let's go ahead and do the story mode. If I got to say anything else, though, despite literally looking like... Okay, I guess she's one of the less problematic looking characters in the game, but still not entirely, you know, good. Um, Yeah, never leave the house without Franco. And... And our blood. Only Ragnar and Noel had big changes to move with sets, and those were only two new moves to replace the one, good ones that used to be there. Ah, good. I know Ragnar got some new moves in Continuum Shift, but that's it. Alright. Literally the same dialogue as ever. And you think there would be something more here because, spoiler alert, 
Yeah, Ex Mortis is literally a different version of Al as if here. I'm just gonna call her Al, fuck it. Arkham City. No, not to be confused with that Arkham City from Batman. No, this is a different Arkham City that is from the, well, the Demon Bang Bane manga. Now, something you might know, manga, no, it's a visual novel plot, but also has an anime. You would not believe that. And the anime itself, I'm not sure if the VN is also like this, but it is also, get this, the fucking mecha anime. I'm not kidding. This weird ass, like, this really weird visual novel that has like a walking Necronomicon and this weird like interdimensional bullshit. It's also a mecha. How did that happen? I have no idea, but I guess maybe it's along the lines of how Code Geass is erroneously also a mecha anime as well. I have no idea. Also, hi Anna. Haven't seen you yet. Also, one of the less problematic looking characters in the game. Also, I think she looks nice, but details. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, literally, um, you can play Al in, like a number of different ways if you want to. Uh, I think the DP is easily her strongest street. Uh, easily her strongest point, though. Um, that being said, though, I got to. There we go. Can I do this? Nope. Oh, that did actually work. Holy shit. Please come back here. So, uh, I don't think I've seen where exactly Al falls under the tier list, but I think she's somewhere in the middle. She's a really average character. I'll definitely say that much. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do... I like how it worked. Oof. And go for this. What are other supers, by the way? I'll have to go check that really fast. Um, two gun throwing scimitar. What does this look like? Oh yeah, that's the one super that X Mortis also does. Funny that. Um, while throwing scimitar, and one in the air. Okay, cool. Actually, <laughs> I keep getting uh, my buns mixed up with that one. I actually meant to do uh, meter guard, but I pressed burst instead. That is not something you want to do. What the fuck? So I haven't played her in a while. That threw me off guard. I will say, if nothing else, Al's personality is really fun. I Like, full stop, really fun. Anyway, uh, I believe it's all mostly the same dialogue whenever Sonic comes up to you as well. Asylum rents these out free of charge. Oh no, communism! Someone's gonna say in the comments somewhere. All right, next up. For the record, I'm also gonna try to like keep each story mode to one video. Um, they might get a little bit blue as a result, but I hope that maybe I'm able to do some stuff. Also, hi, I guess. Woof. <laughs> I'm not sorry. She's really spicy with the glasses on. Not, not bad. Ah, wait. Oh, I think I did this one, right. Oops. I'm, d I'm doing really badly right now, hang on. Yeah, also you can kind of skirt by with the massive bun she has. It's funny because the bass buns with Al are also kind of indicative of why dealing with X Mortis is so hard. All right, um, let's do five H into this should be fine, maybe. <laughs> Hold up, uh, can I see the whiff animation for throws again? I do like the face she she does there. Fuck, she crossed me up. Now I want to get hit by. Damn. Oh shit. Am I gonna get hit by this? Probably. Oh, 
Oh shit, do I have the map the like literally mash the meter guard there? That sucks. Yeah, Ignis's soup uh level three super is a little full screen nuke, but you can block it. Oopsie. Drill get up, okay. Also, one thing I have not been doing because I've been lazy is I've not been actually looking to full drive combos with characters. Um, that's something I need to fix, but I have not done so yet, so yeah. I don't understand what is up with the fucking... Ah, uh, good. Now we introduce age regression into the tags. Fantastic, yay. Yeah, no, I guess I won't spoil too much yet, but I will say in, a, in another story, the additional story mode after this um, is very goofy with how there is just straight up a lot of advertising going on for Demon Bane. Like, uh, I guess Nitro Blasters really want you to play Demon Bane for some bizarre reason. A Star Vampire? <laughs> I mean, I guess being a half vampire, I mean, I've seen Blade. Being a Daywalker does seem kind of convenient. Also, man, do I make this reference already? Did I make this reference before? I don't remember. Um, Mora basically being our Alucard and also um, D from Vampire Hunter. Right, no, because she was labeled as a Domp here in uh, story mode. Which is just literally the same verb bridge I think is actually used for uh, D as well. If, you don't, if you've never watched it before, I highly recommend che checking out the movie Vampire Hunter D. Uh, both that and Bloodlust. Uh, Original movie because it's still a genuinely beautiful watch. Um, D because uh, Bloodless because it's still like one of the previous goddamn anime I've ever seen in my life. Hang on, I'm trying to. What's my super look like? Okay. Clear the inputs. What? what? Was it, is that the one that's like a guard point super or something? Can I get an explanation on that one, please? Maybe I have to try it up close. Ow. No, I want to get hit by. Oh my god, that's her level 3. Fuck. Hey, maybe I don't have to worry about showing them off. Hey, I will fucking show them off for me, I guess. Cool. Just what the doctor ordered. Uh, one thing also I didn't mention is the fact that, um, yeah, Ein's, I, the skill floor is reached character. Ein's got a low, pretty low skill floor. Uh, if you don't know what a, a skill floor is, like the term used to describe a character, where you like you can basically reliably use a character optimally, or at least to some good functioning capacity. Um, Al is really low. Like again, you can see most of what I'm doing is I'm fucking up and doing moves that are too far into each other. I like how she's like got hit by that. Can I try this again? Yeah, why not? I need stuff for it though. Boom. Nope. Okay. <laughs> right. One thing I didn't mention. More. Uh. Wait. No. I didn't talk about it before. Mora is incredibly susceptible to being hit by projectiles. You've got nothing to really cover more than like three character spaces in front of her. So very funny. Uh. Funny backstory about that for anyone reading that. that uh, chat Jericho played the PS1 game and the new series was announced immediately after he finished the game. Yeah, that still has not happened, by the way. So probably stuck in uh, development hell, production hell. That's what I meant to say. Ah, sorry, you, I'm, I'm mistook. You are only a uh, half vampire. Ah, you see, he's only mostly dead. Is the difference being dead, dead? Here, open his mouth. Good little references. BRZ and Princess Bride, you absolutely should. Let's see, is there anything else to talk about with Demon Bane? I don't think so. There is, it's so far kind of unremarkable, really. Like, it's very pushed by Nitro, but I don't see any, like, valid, immediately reason to check it out. Oh, you know what? I think I know what common to use. I think I need to do... 5H. Yo, that's sick though. All right, let's try advancing this. Oh shit, I think also I can cover out the throw. Hey, 
Badge confirms. So there's also jump cancel you can do in the game. I haven't really been showcasing it much yet. It's like off of um, if you hit them in the air, like a 5L. Well, well, it's... Nope. That kind of works. I think I gotta do the heavy version to get that to work. Let's see. Can I confirm this? Kinda, yeah. Nope. Okay, but that. Wait, does she have an air super? Or like an air? Yeah, she does. <laughs> I completely forgot about that fact, actually. Damn. Nice. And I guess, ugh, Jesus, I may have mentioned it before. I made a joke about it at the start of this, but literally, like, there's so many frames of animation for Al has her doing a fucking upskirt. Like, can we remember the fact that she's in a 12 year old body? Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, usual dialogue as, as before. Nothing too interesting here. Despite the fact that it's literally like our evil twin, I guess. Hi, Saber. <laughs> She's getting possessed a lot. I make a joke this happens a lot, but I honestly don't have a direct comparison for that fact. I guess we could make a joke that she got stabbed by Rule Breaker a million times. I'm not sure. You speak gibberish. <laughs> you speak gibberish. Have you seen the sauce you're from, Artoria? Actually, not the sauce you're from, from uh, this game. Jesus Christ. I know people like the tuxedo, or not tuxedo, like the the suit look for for Artoria. It just doesn't make up for the really bad character writing she's got in Fate Zero. I'll talk about more when we get the Sabers video uh, itself. Oops. Nah. We are not playing a fighting game today. We are playing a first person shooter. No, okay. One thing that you also need to learn if you're learning, trying to pick a fighting game is staggering your uh, your moves. The only way that is like, so they don't get hit anymore. Oh, yo. That did hit, cool. <laughs> yeah, she really is from a fucking mecha anime. Okay. Oh, there's the guy from the thing. Okay, cool. Anyway. Ugh. Oh, God. I'll talk about Yoishi later. It's really just goofy shit. Alright, that's a good combo. Trying to end it on the DP, though. There we go. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. I've been trying this whole time to actually go into a D uh, DP Ender for a combo, but I keep fucking up. Excuse me. You seem to be pretty good in fighting games. I try. Uh, I've got a blue ranks in Tekken 8. I, I think I'm alright. Aster's a presence. <laughs> New influence by the Cthulhu cycle. D what are these terms being tossed around? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I would like to have done more research into each of these individual franchises before going into this, but a some of them are very goofy. B I'm not touching some of these with a with a mile long stick. And also C, um, you think I can take this seriously with the Cthulhu cycle deities? Cthulhu's um. Leather Daddy Motorcycle Gang, I guess. That's the only thing I, could, I can parse from that. But sounds like a really banger idea for a uh, comic, I guess. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, nope. Okay. You might want to also end with a uh, heavy DP Ender as well too, because it's got more range. Fuck. Okay. Uh, uh. I'll take that. Uh, 
Oh, one thing too. Um, there's also kind of Street Fighter esque uh, close and far normals sometimes, where like um, like for example, if I do five M up close and do and do it again from a distance, um, it looks different like this. Kind of important because it can dictate like how your combo routes progress and the frame data of what like moves what you do. I'll take that. Let's see. I think. 2M, 5H, DP should result in the Inara Blood combo, maybe? Yeah, that spaces out a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll take that. Nope. The problem also is that each of your assists also takes a certain amount variable amounts of time to charge like for example you can see that another blood takes forever to charge in this game versus uh franco who is able to just do it like immediately franco i don't remember that's her actual name boom boom there we go so as a result some of them i i don't know if this game ever got balance patches at all um oops something about my body being up with stuff missed it anyway time for the usual Moshi Moshi. Something about Hell Hazard. Again, no dialogue from Al herself about the fact that, oh no, my evil doppelganger is running amok. Anyway, hi, Ethica. Ethica is simultaneously one of the coolest characters in this game and also one of the ickiest. It's, um, it's not good. Well, I'll get more into details about it later. You reek of death. Lolly Mordigian? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm not trying to sound exasperated on purpose. Like, genuinely, like, there's a lot of just vapid stuff happening here. Anyway, no, uh, I think it is really cool. Let's just rub it throw. So, even though she, she is our dedicated grappler in this game, like, dedicated to a fault, I mean, like, all grappler traits have been given to her specifically. Like, slow approach. Some uh, uh, abnormal uh, normals and whatnot. And also straight up command grabs and chain throws. She's given given chain throws, by the way. Not the ones you can break, just like um. There we go. Fuck. Let's actually try to do something else. That's fine. Press wrong button. Is that a custom combo? Not sure. Don't ask me about that. I'm not sure. There we go. However, I think it's big problems that uh, she's a bad character because she has um, no zoning options at all. Uh. Yeah, look at that. If the fucking DP has such range issues. Like, it doesn't suck them in on the first hit. Okay. Yeah, she's got uh, the Super Broly throw from Dragon Ball Fighters as well as Android 16's tackle. So, truly, I found everyone's uh, favorite character. Oh, yeah, uh, you can come up back. Holy shit. Really cool supers, though, I'll say that. Ah, of course, now of all times, I have an itch in my head. Not a good time. You know what? Ironically, despite being a zoner, I need to force my way in. Oh, one thing that's important to note, chip kill can kill in this game. As in, if you're being chipped, uh, right, let me start from the beginning. Chip damage exists in this game if you block supers and specials. Um, some games, if you're holding it and your chip brings you down to one HP and you receive chip damage again during the, during the move, you will die. Others, you won't die. Like, modern Street Fighter 6, you don't die from chip damage, but like Street Fighter 4, you do. This game, you do, you do die from chip damage. So just keep that in mind. So you, it really puts you more, it puts more in the favor of the, of the person doing the offense. Why don't we go have some fun? He's 12 years old, roughly. 
I mean, she's old enough to have tits, but I don't think this is the case of if there's grass, play ball. If you've ever, ever heard that fucking term before. And also... I'm definitely gonna get demonetized for this old, terrible joke, but... This really old joke I've been I've heard before of, Hey, if she's old enough to pee, she's good enough for me. Fucking you. It's not a written copy, it's digital. Yeah, that that term does not apply to this game at all, nor does it apply in real life. Just don't hit on anyone under 18. Just don't do that. We are no more than an invitation born of color out of space. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with X Mortis. I think she's like a, a gathering of like all evil thoughts and whatnot into and carnage into like a evil imitation of the Necronomicon, I think. So if you're not familiar, the Necronomicon is a traditionally like evil book that's fictional, of course, hopefully, um, where like uh, it's very much tied to like Eldritch shit, where if you read out of it, you take in like cursed knowledge and whatnot and can bend the rules of the universe and some crazy stuff. It's like, it's tied to like, what, um, it's very game breaking shit, I guess you could say. Oh, my Eldritch Blade. Yep. Yeah, this is the one I was going to linger a little bit on the dialogue. Also, I was uh, looking away because I was trying to recite my damn notes. Anyway, we've, we've seen this into before. Now, are you going to start with a fireball? No, you did not. Anyway, so uh, having also gone through this a couple times also. Yeah, um, it's funny. She's she's basically got the same exact moveset as Al herself. The only difference being like um, supers. Fuck, I got hit by that. Again, it's unblockable, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, kind of getting there. Oop, there we go. Oh, one thing I, I completely forgot about too. It's kind of weird. Um, there's a sound effect that plays when you uh, press the dodge effect sound, or sorry, when you press the dodge button. Um, it sounds a lot like selection sound from Metal Gear Solid. I'll see if I can highlight it at some point in time, but it's it's so very funny because I'm just like, this is kind of blatant, isn't it? All right, let's see. Back up out of, out of the, the hell zone. Not use hell zone grenades. Yeah, the heavy version is kind of funny because it covers both options. Oops. Wait, this might work. Yo, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, Franco did just say, did just say hello, senorita. Okay. Flying she, she exotic. What? Yeah, this is a little bit of uh, vapid stuff still. Look, I'm sure if you're a fan of the Unbane, you might know what all is going on right now, but as it stands, I do not. Anyway, hello again. This is how Black Shadow I mentioned in this area. Sorry, Sonico. We we did your job for you effectively. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure what Sonico could do by herself. I'm not sure why she was brought into this fight to begin with. Oh, this. I'm pretty sure there was a person here just a minute ago. I wonder where she went. Oh, and the phone's still but still here. So it's fucked up though because of the origin of of Al though. Um. Right. So she's the walking number Necronomicon. What we just defeated was the evil version of it. But I'm pretty sure. So what's gonna happen to all the energies of the evil one now that it's dissipated? Immediately, this is kind of fucked up. 
it's kind <laughs> again i'm pretty sure there's more context for this than the actual thing itself but it's uh this is kind of dark uh, ironically though yeah this, this is much more akin to like a traditional visual novel like bad end kind of thing also the strands of hair going on the sides is really cool looking so I guess she's taking in the memories of all those who died. I think Kuro was like a character from the thing before. <laughs> oh, this name comes up early. This name also comes up later on, too. It's kind of goofy. Click. Uh, they really like to uh, play the fourth wall, in a manner of speaking. Right, so, usual stuff. Uh, got the very cryptic, cryptic metaphor. That, that line from Melgar Awesome just goes to my head every single time it goes through this. One of three sacred treasures. Trust me, I've gone through every single one of these more than once. It's always the same dialogue every time. I, I would thought I would have thought for sure they would have started changing it up after maybe like six or seven completions. Uh uh. No dies there, buddy. Alright, so that was it for Al as if story. Um she seems fun, but I will I would be lying if I did, said that that wasn't uh kind of goofy as fuck. How deep into this do I wanna go? Nah, I'll start. I'll stop there. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to show you the uh, notably terrible render for uh, Al from the original Demon Bane, I believe, actual visual novel. And despite it being low res of shit, um, yeah, this looks pretty awful. But what I was not expecting was to also go over and find this image. Um, I believe I'm looking at Al as if from the same thing with. Um, Striped thigh highs, booty shorts, twin buns of hair, the, the fucking air vents on the hair? What? <laughs> and, oh, actual wings, too. So, did we just inadvertently stumble upon the Halloween version of her or something? Our goth girlfriend? I don't want her to be the goth girlfriend. I want fucking Ignis to be goth girlfriend. This is crazy. Dude, I am tripping a little bit right now. Also, I found out WordPress. <laughs> I can't even zoom into the image. That's hilarious. Um, well, the, 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 the alpha itself is nice. I don't think I like it on her though. No, thank you. Okay. Well, it's enough for that one. Um, yeah, I was dodging some crazy images while I was looking around. Um, yeah, I think we'll stop there for her story. Now, moving on to the next one.